Or bonjour and welcome to school. Today we are doing distance learning. Please remember to adjust the volume as needed. You can also pause or rewind when necessary. Class, please make sure that you are participating fully. If your normal partner is not there, make sure that you find one. Also, we should be following our classroom rules. And just as a reminder to everyone, there are no hall passes, no phones, and no Chromebook unless it's for a specific activity. Speaking of Chromebooks, we're going to get ours out now. We're going to tinycards.duolingo.com and we're working on the lesson 1U5.05. Again, open up to tinycards.duolingo.com and we're going to work on lesson 1U5.05. Guest teacher, please pause the video and give students five minutes to work on their Chromebooks on Tiny Cards. All righty, excellent. Fermez vos Chromebooks, s'il vous plaît, et ouvrez vos agendas. Ouvrez vos agendas. Alors, aujourd'hui, our I can is I can describe my family member's appearance and personality. Okay, I can describe my family member's appearance and personality. So let's go ahead and get that written down. So I can describe my family members' appearance and personality. Okay, bien. Alors, répétez, s'il vous plaît, répétez. Zéro, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Très bien, excellent. Répétez, quel âge a ta sœur? Quel âge a-t-elle? Elle a 7 ans. Quel âge a ton grand-père? Alors, encore une fois, répétez. Quel âge a ton grand-père? Quel âge a-t-il? Il a 75 ans. Il a 75 ans. Répétez. Ma grande-mère est morte. Ma grande-mère est morte. Bien. Alors, ouvrez vos paquets, s'il vous plaît. Ouvrez vos paquets. Let's get going on our focus. So, écrivez vos réponses en phrases complètes en français. So, you are answering these questions in full sentences in French. And to answer these questions, we're going to look at this handsome gentleman on the right, Justin Bieber. I hear those groans. Stop groaning. You know you secretly like him. Okay, so here are your five questions about the Biebs. Number one, il est ton frère? Number two, Comment s'appelle-t-il? Number three, il est de quelle nationalité? Number four, il est d'où? And number five, quel âge a-t-il? So again, you're answering these questions about Justin Bieber, who is a 26-year-old from Ontario, Canada. Guest teacher, please pause the video and give students four minutes to work on their focus in their packets.
Okay, bien. Let's go ahead and look at our answers. So, number one, if you want to ad adopt Justin Bieber, you could say, oui, il est mon frère. Oui, il est mon frère. And if the Biebs is not your brother, you should have written, no, il n'est pas mon frère. No, il n'est pas mon frère. So, ne pas sandwich around our verb. Number two, il s'appelle Justin. Je m'excuse, I'm having an issue with spelling, aren't I? J-U-S-T-I-N. Il s'appelle Justin. Il est Canadien. Il est de l'Ontario. And then, il a 26 ans. Make sure you have a on that last one. Il a 26 ans. So I can describe a family member. How do we do? Rouge, jaune, ou vert. Rouge, I don't get it yet. I need some help. Jaune, I can do it with my notes. Or vert, I can do it all by myself. Alors, bien répéter. Content? Contente. Triste? Triste. Gentil? Gentille. Méchant? Méchante. Timide? Timide. Sociable? Sociable. Bête? Stupide. Intelligent? Intelligente. Énervant? Énervante. Amusant? Amusante. Sympa. Barbant? Barbante. Intéressant? Intéressante. Patient? Patiente. Impatient? Impatiente. Égoïste, égoïste. Généreux, généreuse. Drôle, drôle. Sérieux, sérieuse. Travailleur, travailleuse. Paresseux, paresseuse. Let's really quickly go through, make sure we remember what these mean in English. So, en anglais, s'il vous plaît, en anglais, qu'est-ce que c'est paresseux? Paresseuse, en anglais, en anglais. Lazy, bien. Travailleur, travailleuse? Hardworking, excellente. Sérieuse, sérieuse? Bien. Drôle? Excellent, funny, bravo. Généreuse, généreuse? Bien. Égoïste. Selfish. Excellent. Impatient. Impatient. En anglais, patient. Patiente. What about intéressant. Intéressante. Good. Interesting. And the opposite of that, barbon, barbante. Boring. Très bien. What about amusant or sympa? Okay, they're fun. They're a fun person to be around versus... Innervant, innervant. They're annoying or irritating. Good. En anglais, intelligent, intelligent. Bet stupid. Sociable. Timid. Good. Timid or shy. Both words work. Méchant, méchante. Mean. Excellent. Gentil, gentil. Kind, très bien. Triste, sad, excellent. And content, contente, happy, excellent. We're going to go through these to get to our next describing words. This time we're just going to do masculine. Alors, répétez. Content, triste, gentil, méchant, timide, Sociable. Bête. Stupide. Intelligent. Innervant. Amusant. Sympa. Barbant. Intéressant. Patient. Impatient. 
égoïste, généreux, drôle, sérieux, travailleur, paresseux, jeune, âgé, âgé. So now we're on our physical ones, if you didn't notice. Four, fort, bien répété, faible, faible, grand, grande, petit, petite, je m'excuse, gros, grosse, mince, mince. Beau, belle, laide, laide. Joli, joli, moche, moche. Mignon, mignonne. Oh, ok, en anglais s'il vous plaît, en anglais, mignon, mignonne. Good, cute. Our minions are so darn cute. Adore, what about moche? Eh bien, ça va. Joli. Good, that means pretty. What about laid? Excellent. Ugly. Beau. Handsome. And belle. Beautiful. Bien. And our mass? Skinny. Excellent. Gros ou grosse? Bien, petit, grand, excellent, tall en anglais. What about faible? Weak, excellent. Et four? Strong, bien, âgé, oui, et jeune, young, très bien. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît, répétez, jeune, âgé. Four, faible, grand, petit, gros, mince, beau, belle, laide, joli, moche, mignon. Excellent. Alors maintenant, on va utiliser les Chromebooks. Donc, ouvrez vos Chromebooks et allez sur Google Classroom. Ok, in Google Classroom, we're going to go to Classwork and then scroll down to Unit 5 and you're going to find the link that says Practice Descriptions Quiz Is. So again, we're opening up our Chromebooks. We're going to Classroom on Google and then we're going to go to the classwork tab. We're going to look at unit 5 and find the practice descriptions quiz is. Students, when you've finished playing the quizzes, please close your Chromebook so the guest teacher knows that you are done and when you are all done, we can go ahead and continue the lesson. So guest teacher, please pause the video now until most of the students have finished their quizzes and then we can start up the video again. Alors, ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça, ou ça va mal? Ça va bien? Excellent. Alors, let's do feminine this time. Répétez, jeune. Agé. Fort, faible, grande, petite, bien répété, grosse, mince, belle, laide, jolie, moche, mignonne. Excellent. So let's practice these. 
So remember when we're talking about physical characteristics, we use à quoi ressemble. And instead of saying à quoi ressemble tu, we're going to ask about these different celebrities. So we're going to be working with our eyeball partner. And the eyeball partner closest to the smart board is going to ask à quoi ressemble Selena Gomez. And then the partner that's further in the back is going to answer using physical characteristics. Elle est blank, a blank. Elle n'est pas blank, ni blank. So notice on the right side, you have all of our different physical describing words we've learned. So two are going to be she is, and two are going to be she is not. So let's practice together. Répétez. À quoi ressemble Selena Gomez? Elle est petite et mince. Elle n'est pas laide. Ni âgé. Bien. Alors, on va parler avec votre partenaire de coude. À quoi ressemble Selena Gomez? 3, 2, 1, go. À quoi ressemble Megan Fox? À quoi ressemble Captain America? À quoi ressemble Michael Phelps? À quoi ressemble LeBron James? À quoi ressemble Gandalf? À quoi ressemble Nicki Minaj? À quoi ressemble Miley Cyrus? Excellent classe, merci. Alors répétez s'il vous plaît, répétez. Contente, triste, gentille, méchante, timide, sociable, bête, stupide, intelligente, énervante. Amusante, sympa, barbante, intéressante, patiente, impatiente, égoïste, généreuse, drôle, sérieuse, travailleuse, Paresseuse, 
Excellent. Alors cette fois, on va parler avec votre partenaire doi, avec votre partenaire doi. Okay, and as always, if you don't know these people's personalities, when in doubt, just make it up. But the most important thing is we're practicing using our vocabulary words and we're doing it in our sentence structure that's going to give us a four on our assessment. Okay, so with our eyeball partner, we're going to ask, quelle est sa personnalité? We're going to answer, il est blank, et blank. Il n'est pas blank, ni blank. So let's go ahead and practice. Répétez. Quelle est sa personnalité? Il est drôle et contente. Il n'est pas intelligente ni timide. Bien, alors avec votre partenaire Doi, quelle est sa personnalité? Eyeball partner closer to the door is starting in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, Jack Sparrow. Rapunzel. The Joker. Bell. Tinkerbell. Baloo. Ursula. Okay, excellent. Alors, ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça, ou ça va mal? Ça va bien? Excellent. Alors, répétez. Comment est-il? Il est. Il n'est pas. Alors, mon frère Eric est intelligent et amusant. Il est faible et mince. So, notice when we're doing affirmative structured sentences, we're using a. Répétez. Comment est-elle? Elle est. Elle n'est pas. Ma sœur n'est pas méchante ni moche. So notice when we're doing our ne pas sandwiches and making those bigger sentences, we're using ni, not a, like we do in our affirmative structured sentences. In our affirmative, it's like this. Elle est généreuse et Belle. 
Alors, tournez à la page 10. S'il vous plaît, tournez à la page 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tournez à la page 10, s'il vous plaît. Okay, so this says, write about your family's physical traits and personality using affirmative and negative structured sentences with the given vocab. So in each row, there's a different vocabulary word, and you need to think of a family member that that word describes or doesn't describe and write a sentence about that person. For example, the first vocabulary word is agé. So I thought of my grandma because she's getting pretty darn old. So for my first sentence, I wrote ma grande mère est âgée. And then for amusant, that's my next word. And for amusant, I thought of my brother Mark. So I wrote mon frère Mark est amusant. Then the next one is barbon. And I couldn't really think of anyone boring in my family. So I thought of the least boring person and thought of my dad. So for that third row... My sentence was, mon père n'est pas barbon. And then the next word is content. So I thought of someone in my family who's happy. And my sentence was, ma soeur Kirsten est contente. Okay. So again, you're writing about your family using affirmative or negative structured sentences in the vocabulary to accurately describe them. If you get super stuck on a word, just skip to the next word. Guest yes, teacher, please pause the video and have students work for five minutes on page 10 of their packet writing affirmative or negative structured sentences with the given vocabulary to describe their family members. Okay, Ador, avec votre partenaire, Doi, we've had some time to think as we wrote down our sentences. So now we're going to ask about different family members. If you don't have the family member, the easiest thing to do is just make it up for the practice. So think of someone else in your family. Like if you don't have any brothers, think of a cousin that's a boy or something like that. Um, just so that way you get the practice describing. So you can use either physical or personality traits. And if I were you, I would push myself. And try and have my combined sentences. Mon frère est blank, est blank. Il n'est pas blank, ni blank. Um, just so I'm getting that practice of getting a four. So, comment est ton frère avec votre partenaire Doi? I will partner on the left is starting in trois, deux, un, go. Comment est ton père? Remember when you're done, ask them back. Comment est ton cousin? Comment est ta sœur? Comment 
Comment est ta mère? Comment est ta cuisine? Alors, ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça ou ça va mal? Ok, bien, répétez. Comment est-il? Il est et il n'est pas ni. Mon père est drôle et content. Il est âgé et grand. Comment est-elle? Elle est et elle n'est pas ni. Bien, répétez. Ma mère est sympa et jolie. Elle n'est pas petite ni impatiente. Okay, just a reminder for describing family. A one, you're able to give me sentences, or sorry, not sentences, words. A two, you're starting to try and make sentences. They're just not there. So maybe like, elle suis jolie, elle ne grosse pas, um, elle ne suis pas méchante. A three, you got your sentences down, but they're really basic. Ma sœur est jolie, elle n'est pas grosse, elle est sympa, elle n'est pas méchante. Those would all be threes. A four, we need to be combining our sentences. So, ma sœur est jolie et sympa. Elle n'est pas méchante ni grosse. So, let's try giving it a go, getting fours on page nine. So, this is where we've been writing about our six different family members. This time, you're going to answer the question, il or elle et como. You can use... Two physical and two personality descriptions. The example you have here, elle est grande, elle n'est pas grosse, elle est sympa, elle est généreuse, that would be a three. <clears throat> you can combine those sentences to get a four. So answer the question, il or elle est como for six of your family members. Guest teacher, please pause the video and give students eight minutes as they work on page nine to describe six of their family members in French with two physical and two personality descriptions. All right, just a quick little reminder for sentences, questions, answers, how they look. So, comment s'appelle-t-il? Quel âge a-t-il? Il est de quelle nationalité? À quoi ressemble-t-il? Quelle est sa personnalité? Quel type de cheveux a-t-il? Quelle, a quelle est la couleur de ses yeux? Same thing for feminine, switching il out with elle. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît. Énervant? Amusant? Sympa, bête, stupide, intelligent, barbant, intéressant, timide, sociable, patient, impatient, égoïste, généreux, gentil, Méchant, drôle, sérieux, 
Content. Triste. Travailleur. Paresseux. Alors, ça va bien. Ça va comme si, comme ça, ou ça va mal. You feel good? We're remembering this? Bien. Alors, répétez grand. Petit. Gros. Mince. Beau. Laid. Joli. Moche. Mignon. Jeune. Âgé. Fort. Faible. Excellent. If you've gotten this far, let's go ahead, grab a scratch paper and try and write me one affirmative structured sentence and one negative structured sentence about each of these characters. Again, if you want to get a four, you need to have your sentences combined. So guest teacher, please pause the video, have students get out a scratch paper and work for six minutes on describing these different characters, doing one affirmative structured sentence and one negative structured sentence in French. Okay, on that same, Scratch paper, let's go ahead and do a minute to win it. You're gonna work with a female family member. It's your choice who. So decide now who you want to do. And then round one is going to be writing describing words. Round two will be writing sentences. And then round three will be verbal questions and answers asking about that family member. Okay, so again, we're on our scratch paper. Have your family member in mind. It's a female family member of your choice. Round one, you're writing describing words. So remember just the words because round two is the sentences. So round one, write describing words. Just get your brain thinking about that family member and how you can describe them. Okay, stop. Okay, good. Round two. Now you're going to look at your words that you thought of and you're going to turn these into sentences. Remember, the bigger your sentence is, the more points you get and the more likely you are to be writing for. So round two, write sentences. The game begins in three, two, one. Thank you. 
Top. Excellent. Okay, now questions and answers. So, como s'appelle-t-elle? Quel âge a-t-elle? Um, <clears throat> elle est doux. Como est-elle? A quoi ressemble-t-elle? Etc. Okay, so let's give you 10 seconds to find a partner and get back to back in the classroom. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we're asking questions back and forth about the family member. So let's see how we do. The game begins in three, two, one. Keep going. <laughs> 